Have you tried the new editing feature on the YouTube Studio Beta platform? If you're like me, maybe you clicked on it and then clicked around and couldn't kind of make heads or tails of it and clicked right out of it. That's what I did the first time I opened it up. But since then, I've figured it out. So today, I'm gonna to show you how it works. I'm Jen Jagger, Creative Director at Plum Productions Professional Video Services and educator here at My Video 101 where I teach you how to make better videos for your business. So if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So now let's get right to the YouTube Studio Editor platform. This one replaced the Enhancements tab in the Creator Studio Classic and it's not really a robust editing tool, but if you're trying to do something on the fly, it can be really helpful. So let's dive right in and I'll show you how it works. Okay guys, let's dive into YouTube Studio Beta. To do that, I am on my own YouTube page and I'm signed in. I'm gonna click this button here, YouTube Studio Beta. And we're gonna head on over to Videos. To get to the editor, you're gonna to wanna to go into your videos on YouTube Studio Beta. Let's click this clip. And over here on the left side of the screen, let's click Editor. Now this is the screen that kind of threw me off when I first opened it. Uh, I did a little clicking around and I couldn't figure out how to use these tools, but today I'm gonna show you how they work. This editor really doesn't do a ton of stuff. It just has a few things that are kind of helpful if you're trying to edit on the fly. So what I've got here loaded up is a raw clip of myself just kind of talking. You can see here the first track is obviously the video. The second track down is our audio waveforms. You can see here all the way to the left. This is kind of the beginning before I started talking. And here it is at the end. That's kind of the stuff we want to clean up. The next tab down is adding an end screen. We'll talk about that. And the last one is adding a blur. So first, let's talk about trimming up the fat out of the beginning and end of this video. We can watch the video by cueing the playhead up to the beginning going over here to the top center of the screen, hitting play. And you can see I'm kind of just like waiting to talk before I talk. So let's trim this up. Now to do that, I wanna take your attention over to the left side of the field here where it says trim. We're gonna hit trim. And at the bottom of the screen, you've got this box here that says split, cancel, and preview. So because I wanna trim just the beginning, I don't need to split the clip. Let's just grab this thick white line and I'm gonna drag it over right before I start talking. And you can see this part here is grayed out. That means that's what I'm gonna cut out. And then let's go over to the end of the clip and I'm gonna drag it down. And again, I've clipped off the end of the clip where I'm not really doing anything. But let's see what happens if I wanted to cut something out of the middle. So here I am, I'm kind of clicking around in the center and I cannot grab anything to cut it out. This is where you need to hit the split button. So we're gonna queue up our playhead. Let's say I wanted to cut out just like this section here. I'm going to queue up my playhead. I'm gonna click that split button at the bottom of the screen, and then I'm gonna drag that playhead and cut out just the section that I wanna remove. Now it gets a little confusing here, and don't be thrown off by this, and this is what's kind of counterintuitive. This little circle with the X in the middle, you would think if you clicked that, it would just like delete this grayed out section that I'm trying to rid myself of, but that's not what it is. It's actually an undo button, so it undoes what you just did, and that's not what we want. So what we're gonna do is, if we wanna keep the work I've done here, we're gonna hit the preview button, and what I can do is play from the beginning of the video and I'll show you where I've clipped. So watch that again. I'm gonna actually grab this playhead to the very beginning of the timeline and I'm gonna hit the play button, but watch, keep your eye on what happens over here in the grayed out section. Look at how fast it, it jumps. See, it just jumps. That's how we know we've cut off the beginning of that uh, clip. And then if we get to the middle here, you can see I've, my, my face jumps here because I made that cut. Okay, so now let's look at the audio field. Let's hit the expand button, the drop down, and then there's this button here, audio, and watch what happens here. YouTube has licensed out a bunch of music tracks that you can use to add to your video. Um, you can search by uh, title, if you remember the title of a track that you saw in here that you wanted. You can search by artist. You can sort by genre. You can sort by mood. 
and you can sort by duration, which is helpful if you have a video, you know it's like about a minute 30 long, you can pick a, a cut of music that's gonna fit for that. So let us go to pop under the genre. We can preview what these tracks sound like by hitting the play button. Gosh, some of these tracks are just like, <laughs> not applicable for what I need. All right, let's just pick this one in this in the interest of time here. I'm gonna hit add to video. And you can see this is how it's laid out underneath my video. And what I can do is if you watch here, I can grab the end of the of the music and I can actually have it come in at different a different point within my video. And then I can even slide it around. So this is great if you don't want music under your entire the entire duration of your video. And then what I also want you to do is draw your attention over to what they're calling audio saturation. So there's a slider here. You can either favor the original audio or you can favor the music. Now, if you are, you know, if your video consists of something where the the sound of the video is not important and you just want like a music track underneath it, if it's just like B-roll or, you know, um, a slideshow or something, you would definitely want to favor the music. But in my case, I'm talking. So I definitely want to favor the original audio. And if you listen, personally, in my opinion, I think the mix is not great on this. You know, the even if you favor the original audio all the way to the left, it doesn't, it's still too loud, I think, for, for being under someone talking. So I'm not in love with this feature. I think it could be, I think it could be a little bit better, um, but we, you know, this is what they've got. I have a feeling they're gonna be adding more features to this in the future because every time I click on this editor, there seems to be all uh, different buttons and things are constantly changing. So I'm gonna revert to original. I'm gonna lose all the work I did and that's fine. And I think we're just gonna click out of this tab to go back, yeah, to the editor. So let's add an end screen. Now an end screen is what happens at the end of your video. It's gonna suggest other videos to the viewer. You can have a blank template or they have these other templates here for you. Let's pick this one and apply it to our video. Now you can select the different elements that are gonna end up on our end screen. So this one is to subscribe. The circle means it's an option. It, it's gonna prompt people to subscribe. The next box is where like a thumbnail for another of your videos will pop up. It defaults to most recent uploads, so your most recent content, or you can, uh, the next one defaults to best for viewer, but you can also click down and find other videos and you can really customize this, which is very nice. So you can grab this handle and you can adjust the time at which these end pages, these cards will come up. Okay, so now let's talk about the blur function. The blur function is great if you have uploaded a video and you later realize like, oh, you know, I, I can't show that person's face, I never got their permission, or I shot something in my office and I didn't realize there was some sensitive information on my desk. So what you can do is go back and add blurs in your video without having to take the video down, which could be a really helpful tool because we all know that YouTube doesn't let you just replace a video, which is kind of frustrating uh, because once you upload it, if you have to take it down or modify it for any reason, you lose all the views and everything that it had going for it. So let us check out this add blur function. We're gonna hit this box with the arrow and you can either blur a face or you can do custom blurring where you choose an area of the screen to blur. I hit the edit button and it's doing what it's processing. So what it's gonna do is, is sense the faces in the video, which this should be pretty easy for it. And it will go ahead and uh, blur out my face. It takes a little while um, to get this processing done. In this case, wow, it's kind of jumping pretty quickly. We're already at 21%. So we're just gonna sit tight and let this process and then I'll show you what it looks like. So what it's done is it's figured out which part of the screen is my face. So I'm gonna click my face here and look 
at what happens. It blurs me out and it kind of motion tracks the blur. It kind of follows my face, which is really great. But obviously that's not what I want to do for this video. So we are going to click out of this and there you have it, folks. That is what the editing tool looks like on YouTube currently. Like I said, I imagine this will change. So I'm curious, you guys, what do you think of YouTube Studio versus the Creator Studio Classic? Personally, I love the YouTube Studio, and of all the things it does, I actually think this editor is kind of the least robust tool that it offers you. And I wonder if YouTube's gonna add more features to it, we'll see. So let me know in the comments, like what do you love about YouTube Studio Beta and what do you miss about Creator Studio Classic? And make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for more helpful tips for making better videos for yourself.